This tutorial is on how to bend a band and loop space maintainer. As you see, this patient has an edentulous area where their second premolar will go. So we want to create a space maintainer that's going to hold this space and make sure no shifting occurs. I fitted the band already. So this band fits on this patient. Uh, I had to sew out a little bit on each side, so I make sure I fit the band because the model was not poured with a band. We're going to take about a three inch piece of wire, 032. So the main thing, we want to wrap around the band on both sides, and then we want to make a little loop and then make sure it contacts at this adjacent tooth. If it's not contacting, the teeth can shift. So the best way to go about this, you get the width of the adjacent tooth, and then we do two bends back. So it's gonna look almost like a little loop. Then we place it, make sure it's good. And then with our three prong plier, we're just gonna make a little indent to go in. So it becomes like a little W or an M. And then make this, these two wires go in just a little more. Once again, check to make sure that it is fitting. And now you see how it's straight. We want to contour it. So this is where we're going to use our three prong plier, the two beaks facing down, and then just light pressure. We're going to contour it so it comes upward, just like that. Now you have a loop that's not going to, it's not going to interfere. It's not going to hold any food trap. And then when we place it on, it has a little loop. And our goal is right where it's touching the teeth to make a 90 degree bend in the middle of the band back. So hold it straight and then a 90 degree bend, middle of the band, and then contour it around the band. So you're gonna have to use your bird beak or number 139 plier, and then just little bends to contour it around the wire. You might have excess in the back here, so just hold it, push that out, and then continue the contour so that it fits perfectly around the band. Once you finish all your bends, you wanna make sure you sticky wax it, making sure the tooth and the wire are still contacting. The wire is touching the band on both lingual and buckle, and then we will get to solder. So soldering video would be up next.